Shalom, Barak to Yahweh, Barachim, Yahweh Shai, Barachim, Makar Kadash, all praises and glories definitely do, especially in the times we're living in. Much respect to the apostles and others of Great Millstone and to all the brothers out there doing the work, I say Shalom. All right, this is an article that came to my attention. All right, and uh, previously there was a uh, a video that uh, my brother had did, right, where uh, an Edomite, uh, give me a minute. Yeah, this video here, off the grid, Edomite, desert prepper spits out truth of America being the revived Roman Empire. And I highly recommend you people go see that. Anyway, let's uh, get back. Give me a minute. All right. So you all need to uh, go check out that video. He speaks about this in particular, right? Russia wants U.S. warships to steer clear of Crimea for their own good. All right, and what all this really means, people, is that everything is on schedule, all right? Um, as we read in uh, Habakkuk, all right, give me a minute. This is Habakkuk 2. I will stand on my watch and set me upon the tower, that tower, is Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, all right? That's, uh, you know, our fortress, our shield and buckler. And we'll watch to see what he will say unto me, and what shall I answer when I am reproved? And the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that ye may run that readeth it, all right? In this vision, we're talking about prophecy here, all right? For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, all right? Let's have a look at this word, tarry. Give me a minute. All right, this is the uh, this is the uh, definition of tarry, right? To linger, tarry, wait, delay, right? So again, you know what is it saying, right? It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. And though, you know, you have to wait for it to happen, you know, it's telling you to be patient, wait for it, because it will surely come and not tarry. It will not delay. All right? So, you know, everything is going according to... Yahweh Bachim, Yahweh Shai schedule. All right. Okay, so let's get back to the uh the article. All right. So again, Russia warns US warships to steer clear of Crimea for their own good. Russia on Tuesday warned the United States to ensure its warships stay well away from Crimea for their own good, calling their deployment in the Black Sea, a provocation designed to test Russian nerves, right? Now, if you people think it's not a big deal, well, you know, in the scriptures, you know, we'll take you to that. You know, uh, Gog and Magog, which is Russia, 
which is the big brother to Iran and other nations, right? And understand that Russia and even EU nations are dealing with Russia and dealing with Iran, all right? And this is outside of the box. This is outside of what America Babylon the Great wants, okay, or likes, okay? So uh, this is why America put sanctions. Matter of fact, even in just starting this video here, I saw something come up on my screen, a news flash that, you know, Biden is uh, putting more sanctions on Russia. So there you go, people. I mean, the stage is set, okay, for World War III, the Battle of Armageddon. And this is Yahweh Bachim, Yahweh Shai's movie. Okay, this is his show. And he is the one who's mustering the nations and gathering them, okay, in the valley of Jehoshaphat for Yahweh Shippot, okay, Yahweh's judgment upon the nations. You understand that? And we'll get into a few scriptures to uh, bring you some further understanding, all right? Let me just read a little bit of this, and uh, then we'll jump to some scripture, all right? So, uh, Moscow annexed Crimea from the Ukraine in 2014, and two U.S. warships are due to arrive in the Black Sea this week. In other words, I believe by Friday, which is tomorrow. All right. Amid the escalation in fighting in eastern Ukraine, where government forces have battled Russian-backed troops in a conflict, Kyiv says has killed 14,000 people. The deployment comes as the West sounds the alarm over what it says is a big and unexplained buildup of Russian forces close to the Ukraine's eastern border in Crimea. Russia has said it moves its forces around at the sea's fit, including for defensive purposes. Russian Deputy uh, Foreign Minister Sergei Radov was cited by Russian news agencies on Tuesday as warning U.S. warships in the Black Sea to keep their distance, saying the risks of unspecified incidences were very high, all right? Russian anti-submarine Corvette Moret fires during the joint drills of the Northern and Black Sea fleets attended by Russian president. There is absolutely nothing for American ships to be doing near our shores. This is purely a, provo a provocative action, provocative in the direct sense of the word. They are testing our strength, playing on our nerves. They will not succeed. Side is saying, we warn the United States that it will be better for them to stay away from Crimea in our Black Sea coast. It will be for their own good. The Pentagon has declined to discuss the ship's deployment, saying only that the U.S. military routinely sends vessels to the region. Uh, Russia's Black Sea Fleet is based in Crimea, and it has powerful missile and radar facilities on the peninsula. All right? All right, let's, uh, let's get into some scripture here. All right? Give me a minute. All right. This is uh, Isaiah, right, 13 and 17, okay? I will stir up the Medes against them. Against who? Babylon, America, Babylon the Great, daughter of Babylon, spiritually Sodom as in Sodom and Gomorrah, spiritually Egypt as in ancient Egypt, the house of bondage for the Israelites, all right? You can read about that in uh, Jeremiah 15 and 33, where it's talking about, you know, um, Israel and Judah, you know, were held captive, all right? And again, that's talking about here, America, Babylon the Great, all right? And they, and, uh, they all refused to uh, let us go, 
all right, calling us captive, all right, and understand that we're talking about America, Babylon the Great, because we were never in captivity together, the northern and the southern kingdom of Israelites, which is made up of you Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. We were never uh, in captivity in ancient Babylon, only the southern kingdom. So this is how you know. That's why you have to know your history, people, all right? In order to uh, understand the mystery, you have to know the history, all right? All right, so anyway, behold, I will stir up the Medes, all right? That's Gog and Magog, all right? That's Russia, all right? The Medes against him, against who? Against uh, America, Babylon the Great, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bowls also shall dash the young man to pieces. What are we talking about? We're talking about that thermonuclear fire from the ICBMs. Okay? All right? And they shall have no pity on the fruit of thy womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. And Babylon, talking about America, Babylon the Great, the glory of kingdoms, right? The beauty of the Chaldeans, excellency, the Chaldeans were the high priests of ancient Babylon, okay? The Magi's, the ones that were into enchantments and sorceries. In modern day, that's the uh, international banking families, okay? The head tribe of the Edomites, Amalek, the Amalekites, all right? Your Rothschilds, your Oppenheimers, your Rockefellers, et cetera, et cetera, 13 families in all, all right? So that's why, you know, when you read stuff like that, that talks about, you know, the uh, the Chaldeans, all right, it's talking about their, uh, the high priests that were into enchantments and sorcery. And that would be, in modern day here, Amalek, the Amalekites, all right, the international bankers, who are what? Your cabal, your shadow government, okay, shall be as when the God power overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. You see that? And you got you got brothers out there that call themselves being Israelites and that they're in this tube and that they've read this by talking about America ain't going to be destroyed. I mean, that clearly tells you this is a false prophet. Talking about that, you know, they're going to perish just off the land. Like America is going to be fine, but they're just going to perish off the land. No, America. The Lord is sending plagues onto this place. And the ultimate plague that he sends is that thermonuclear fire from the ICBMs. Plus, he'll have that concentrated laser fire from the chariot. No, America is going to be a desolation. Let's read about it. All right? Again, as in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, right? And it shall never be inhabited. Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Why not? It's going to be a desert. All right? Neither shall the Arabian consent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fall there. And what do you mean by that? You have Arabs in the hoods, right? That's them pitching their tent, making money, just like you have, you know, uh, Moab. All right? So you have the Ishmaelites, who are the Arabs. You have Moabites, who are the Chinese, right? The Chinese restaurant, right? They pitch tent in the hoods, making money. All right, but the wild beasts of the desert shall lie there. See, because no one's going to inhabit America, Babylon the Great. It's going to be a desert. And their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, owls that dwell there, and Saturn shall dance there. And the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses. All right, and the dragons in their pleasant palaces. Her time is near to come, her days shall not be prolonged. See that? All right, you know what? We're going to end this here, and we'll pick this up in part two, and we're going to go to uh, Jeremiah 51, all right? We'll be right back with uh, part two. Shalom.